Welcome to the assignment of week 4 and again we have to decipher a secret message. As this week has been about file handling, of course the data necessary to solve this task is stored in files and finally the solution has to be stored into, file, into a file as well. So what is the idea of this secret? There is one file called secret.txt which contains one single character per line. And these characters have to be filled into an array and the size, the shape of the array is given by this file key.txt. So the array in this example should have three columns or three characters per line and four rows. Meaning these first three characters would go into this first line, the next three characters would go into the next line and so on. So what we do have to do? Yeah, of course first we have to open these two files and get the data and store it somewhere so that it be handleable later on. Let's start with key.txt. So what we need some li is some list where we could store the data later on. And of course we have to open this file and we start with our with statement. So what have we done until here? We have our with statement, we are opening the file, we go through this file line by line using a for loop, we then get rid of our line break using our strip method and we know we have uh, integers in there so we can cast this content of the line into an integer. Then we append the result into our list size and finally as we know there are two values we can say the first one is the number of columns call and the second one with the indexed one is the number of rows. And of course we can print out to have a small quality check call row and we see we get the number 50 and 20. The next part is quite similar. Again, we have to open a file, read the content and put it into a list. So again, we have our with statement, we open our secret text, we go through the file line by line, we get rid of our file ending, this line break and we put this uh, only character into our uh, list of characters. And of course we can again double check print characters. So and what you can see here is we have a long list consisting of lots of single individual characters um, and we just have dots and hashtags. So what do we have to do next? Now we have to iterate over our list of characters and form um, new lines which have a length of call. We have stored a value in here and uh, which are then appended to a new list. To be able to do so we need a counter variable which we count through while we are iterating over this file over this list of characters. So what do we need? First we need our counter. Yeah, we start counting with one and we always check while we iterate if we have reached this value call. Then we need to store our data somewhere. Again we form a list which contains afterwards all the lines yeah, which is empty at the very beginning and then we have a line which is empty at the very beginning. And while we iterate through this list, we later on append each character to this line. Now let's loop. For character in characters in our list, let's say line plus equal to character. So we append the line, the, the character to the line. We increase our counter, count plus equals to one and now we have to check if we have reached our column mark if we have uh, reached our uh, 50 we know it's 50 in here yeah? so what we can say if count equals to call 
So what we have to do then? We have first to append our current line to public. Yeah? So public dot append line. So we store the value in there. We have to reset our line. Yeah? So we set it back to an empty string and we have to reset our counter equals to one. That's basically it. I can let it run. I do not see anything, yeah, but we can loop through our public list yeah, for, for line in public and print this line out. Let's check what we have. And you can see suddenly these hashtags do form a text. Python is cool. However, that's not what we have to reach, we finally have to store this new text into a file. So again, let's double check. And let's um, open a file. We have again our with statement to open a file. However, as we would like to store data, we have now to open it in write mode. Then we loop through our list public. Before we now write this uh, line into a file, we have to first enter a line break, add a line break at the end of the line, so that we have really line breaks in our file. And if I'm running this one, a new file is created, which I have done before, and I can now check. Yeah, and you see now um, that this data is stored into a text file called public.text. That's what we wanted to reach.